Hi all. So we will move on to the next topic, sludge digestion process. In the introduction video, we discussed about the sludge treatment. That sludge treatment is aimed to achieve two things, that is volume reduction and strength reduction. Here, sludge digestion process is carried out to reduce the strength of sludge. That is, the BOD is removed which is carried out by anaerobic decomposition known as sludge digestion. This process is carried out in sludge digestion tank. Okay. So in this process, the sludge gets broken into following three forms. That is sludge, digested sludge, supernatant liquor, gases of decomposition. Okay. So digested sludge in the it is a, we can say that it is a stable solid matter. So, uh, which is black in color. Also, uh, in the first video we discuss it. Sludge is the composition of 80 to 98 to 96 percent of the moisture content and water content. Okay, so digestive sludge is reduced moisture content. So, obviously, that is volume reduced. Almost 1.3 times undigested sludge volume is equal to 1 by 3 times. Also, Next one is the super natant liquor. It is a liquefied and finely divided solid matter. BOD range is 3000 parts per million. This is super natant liquor. 3000 parts per million. Last one is the gases of decomposition. In the uh, gases like methane, CH4, that is methane, gases like carbon dioxide. Nitrogen, hydrogen sulfide. The key world view. So sludge digestion process carry out three products, like three forms in our digestive sludge, supernatant liquor, and gases of decomposition. Now we will discuss about the stages in the sludge digestion process. What are the stages in the sludge digestion process? Mainly three stages are there. First one is the acid fermentation, acid regression, and the alkaline fermentation stage. First, we will discuss about the acid fermentation. In this first stage, the fresh sewage sludge begins to be acted upon by anaerobic and facultative bacteria called acid phobos. Okay, this sludge is stabilized by the acid phobos, that is an anaerobic acid forming bacteria. It will convert it into acids like propionic acid, acetic acid, butyric acid etc okay also uh, here the ph value but ph value or the acid then it should be less than 6 okay next stage is the acid regression stage acid regression stage this can be called as the intermediate stage in this the volatile acids and nitrogenous compounds are attacked by the bacteria and it will be converted into acid carbonates and ammonia compounds. In your case, the pH value is rise in 6.8 range like the rise here. And the last stage is the alkaline fermentation stage. This is the final stage of the sludge digestion. Acid, sorry, alkaline fermentation stage. So, if we have anaerobic bacteria, we have methane formers. Anaerobic methane forming bacteria, we have methane formers. So, we have these volatile acids converted to gas site. Gas site converted like methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, etc. So, these are the three stages of sludge digestion process. That is the acid fermentation stage acid regression stage and the alkaline fermentation stage. Now we will move on to the factors that is affecting the sludge digestion okay, and their control. The important factors are temperature, pH value, seeding with the digested sludge and mixing and stirring of the raw sludge with digested sludge. First one is the temperature. Here, rate of digestion is proportional to 
temperature that is it is this process of digestion is greatly influenced by temperature that is tem higher temperature le rate of digestion nor in the cool like okay rate of digestion nor in the cool like at a higher temperatures next one is the ph value okay ph value we already discussed this the intermediate step le that is our acid regression stage like our intermediate step le volatile organic acids all break down okay the methane gases with the character volatile organic acids in the breakdown chain right anaerobic bacteria also called as the methane formers so e methane forming bacteria that is if the methane forming bacteria are not occurring operating properly there is an accumulation of volatile acid occurs okay so e methane forming bacteria proper right work is done in the accumulation of volatile acids occur so obviously pH drop in. Okay. This acidity increases due to the following reasons as the with overdosing of raw sludge, also with sudden admission of industry waste, etc. Also, sometimes with the over withdrawal of digestive sludge, also this acidity increases. So the pH value will drop. Next topic is the seeding with digested sludge. So uh, when a sludge digestion tank is put in operation, it is highly beneficial to seed it with the digested sludge from the another tank. So I'm going to proper seeding and dialum and down. Karna e digested sludge bacterial enzymes on the raw sludge it mix in okay, decomposition or come later namak digested sludge bacterial enzymes. We need a raw sludge to mix it and decomposition. So, seeding with the digestive sludge is main factor. Okay. The last factor is the mixing and stirring of the raw sludge. Mixing and stirring of the raw sludge. Now, we have incoming fresh raw sludge already illa digestive sludge ait nammle third factor la parano digestive sludge ait nammle mix e so a mix e nu parayunnathu nammle a digestive sludge illa bacterial enzymes um nammle raw sludge il illa biodi nammle decompose e okay so ee mixing nammle achieve cheyunnathu mechanical devices ku use cheyala like pumping devices ku use cheyittana ee mixing and stirring of the Raw sludge and down. Okay. This is an important factor. Because we have excessive stirring. This is proper stirring. These mechanical devices are slow moving mechanical devices. Use it. Excessive stirring is harmful effects. Because we have bacteria. We bacterial enzymes. The decomposition is high. The bacterial enzymes are killing the chance. So, slow moving mechanical devices are mixing and stirring. Use it. Okay, thank you.